hello uh, from the tutorial the second tutorial we can notice that we are able to learn how to add data using the hard data icon here the method I taught on for the second tutorial so there are a lot of methods we can use like I've said earlier and how do we work with that now we are performing different operation under this layer and the first thing to do now is I will try and use another method of how to hard data so you come to catalog my folder connection is here ready so I just navigate to where I save my my work too so you can see what you just do is you drag once I place my mouse on the shape file I'm trying to add to my map you left click your mouse you left click hold your mouse and you drag on the map so the same principle applies for any shape file you're trying to bring to your map so this first one here represent the Nigeria boundary as at all at large and uh, this one represent the the state's boundaries in Nigeria and this represent the local governments in Nigeria in each state in Nigeria so now how do you high range this layers I can drag this down depending on my area of interest as you can see I have the boundary of Nigeria to be the first which I can see the outline in what in red if I wish to change the color of this outline I can decide to to do that by clicking on this left click on this it will display this symbol selector then where I can find my outline color then I can select the one I want after that then you click OK also you can increase the outline width depending on your choice you see now but I don't need that I'm okay with one so now this represent the state shape file for entire Nigeria what if I decide I want this shape file hollow I'll just click on the same symbol you click the hollow button which means you're filling the color with no you, you're filling the the shape with no colors then I can decide to change the outline width to maybe yellow or maybe light green or so on, depending on my choice and then you change the outline width to one and then you click OK as you can see we are able to see all those greenish line representing different polygon for each state in Nigeria and if I want to work with a local government too what I'll do is repeat the same procedure then let me use blue for this then I want the fit color hollow the outline color let me use blue and then the outline width to one then you click OK so anyway I see red it's represent the entire boundary of Nigeria 
and then when we see this green it represents the boundaries for each state in Nigeria and anyway I see this blue it represents each local government in each state in Nigeria so that is how to arrange layers under my TOC which is the table of content now the next thing we are to deal with now is um, the layer color in which we just did right now we've done that already you can do all those manipulations once you click on this your symbol selector dialog box pops up and then you can do anything you wish to using this interface here with respect to these three layers after you satisfy with your result then you're done for the changing of the layer outline color and for the layer color you can decide to use let's say red you can just click here and just search for red and click ok you see Nigeria is red right then your state is in green you just change it to green click ok and then this is in blue the reason why I couldn't see them is because of the arrangement or what we call the layer display order you see it depends on which one I'm making parity under this layer you get it now well if you try and make them hollow you'll be able to see each fixture very well and then you can decide to change your outline color in which I've, I've just shown us how to get that done so that is all about we changing the layer display order changing of layer colors and changing the layer outline color so that is all about this listed above earlier in Hugs thank you